pictures of Kyog there from the protest side. We'll just go back to Dev inside in a few moments from now. But BJP workers are out on the streets protesting against the Ashok Gehlot government. What they say is that the chief minister has insulted the martyrs by turning down the request of the widows of these martyrs from Pulwama. Meanwhile, the Congress says that we are being genuine in what we say. We are right. We are willing to accommodate or give jobs to the children of the martyrs, but not to the extended families. What purpose does that serve is the question that the Congress essentially is asking, at least a faction of it, the government is, not Sachin Pilot, who has in fact gone ahead and said there could have been more sensitivity in terms of handling this entire issue. Dave is back with us. Dave, you were in fact telling us about the current situation there. Well, uh, Sneha, this entire matter has snowballed into a major embarrassment for the Ashok Gehlot government. Given that this is an election year, it has become an Albert Ross around Ashok Gehlot's neck, which clearly is not going to go away anytime soon. Uh, this entire matter could have been handled in, in a much better way. Several of these protesters are currently sitting on the roads, protesting that, mentioning that uh, that the Gehlot government has acted in a barbaric manner. I can show you uh, the visuals out here. In fact, uh, some of these workers who are sitting right now on the roads, there is also the brother, brother of Dr. Kirori Lal Meena who is sitting out here. You can see the, the BJP workers who are out here who are protesting. They want to move towards uh, the Rajasthan Chief Minister's residence. Kirori Lal Ji, what do you think about the police? What do you think about the police? साहब के साथ में जो पुलिस ने किया है, वो वो किया है, उसको न बीजेपी कार्यकर्ता समर्थ सहन करेंगे, न उसके समर्थक सहन करेंगे, और गहलोत चाहे सबको भी अलग करवा दे, हमारे कोई पक्ष वापस नहीं। आपको लगता है, आपको लगता है कि इस पूरे मामले को संवेदनशीलता से हैंडल किया जा सकता है? ये वीरांगना का मामला है और जब तक न्याय नहीं मिलेगा राजस्थान के कोने कोने में हर विधानसभा क्षेत्र में लगातार आंदोलन रहेंगे ऑल ऑफ दीज बीजेपी वर्कर्स हु आर सिटिंग आउट हेयर ऑन द रोड मेंशनिंग दैट दैट द बीजेपी वांट्स टू टेक दिस अप इनटू अ मेजर पॉलिटिकल इश्यू देयर आर सेवरल अदर बीजेपी लीडर्स हु आर आल्सो प्रेजेंट क्या कहना आप देखो ये सरकार एक समुदाय की सरकार है आपने देखा अशोक गहलोत मुख्यमंत्री जी को भरतपुर जाने के लिए टाइम है और शहीदों की पत्नियों को मिलने के लिए टाइम नहीं है यू कैन क्लियर यू कैन क्लियर यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट ऑल ऑफ दीज बीजेपी वर्कर्स हु आर प्रेजेंट द वर्कर्स हु आर प्रेजेंट आउट हेयर मैंशनिंग दैट द बीजेपी लीडर्स मैंशनिंग दैट द कांग्रेस गवर्नमेंट इन राजस्थान हैज एक्टेड इन अ बार बैरिक मैनर एंड दैट इट विल नॉट लेट गो ऑफ दिस इश्यू एनी टाइम सून uh, the, the three widows, the uh, widows of the martyrs who attained martyrdom in Pulwama, Sneha, uh, they wanted, they had very simple demands and the Gelot government at the very least could have uh, called them over, spoken, the uh, chief minister could have spoken with them and tried to sort out this entire issue. That did not happen and now this clearly has become a major controversy for the Ashok Gelot government in Rajasthan as not just the opposition but within the ranks of the Congress itself, there are several leaders who are mentioning that this entire matter should have been handled sensitively. Sneha. You know, they've just put this into perspective. What are their demands are so difficult? How is it so difficult for the Chief Minister of Rajasthan to meet these demands? Why is it so difficult? This is my question to you. Well, Sneha, there are uh, several layers to this issue. It's not a simple, it's a, it's a quite a layered issue. Uh, the Chief Minister had, you know, uh, issued, a, issued a, a clarification on the social media in which he mentioned that uh, one of the uh, widows of the martyrs demanded that, uh, that a job be given instead of her son to her brother-in-law. Uh, the Chief Minister mentioned that if that were to happen, then in future there could be several other people who could mention that uh, their relatives be given the job instead of the, of the son uh, or the daughter of the, of the martyr. Now the Chief Minister has, you know, uh, mentioned that this could set a precedent which could be a very wrong one. Uh, the other thing is that, you know, one more uh, uh, widow of the martyr has claimed that, uh, that, uh, the, uh, that the statue of her uh, martyred husband should be installed in the village. The third widow has, uh, has demanded that uh, a college be named after uh, her husband who, 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 
attained martyrdom in Pulwama. So now all of these demands, Sneha, are very basic demands. And if the chief minister had or the Gelob government had any objections to that, uh, the very least that it could have done was to uh, have them over at the chief minister's residence, heard them out and tried to uh, come to a resolution, a peaceful resolution which was acceptable to all. But the fact that these widows went and sat outside uh, the former deputy chief minister Sachin Pilot's residence and the bitter acrimony between the two, that is Pilot and Gelot, is not hidden perhaps from anyone now. Perhaps that is something which, you know, really uh, raised the, the stakes in this entire matter. And now it seems that the chief minister does not want to backtrack, he does not want to back down. And the fact that Ge uh, Pilot has issued a statement in this matter means that Gelot now feels that in this election year, he cannot be seen as someone who is a weak uh, administrator or a weak uh, chief minister and that is why perhaps he does not want to give up easily on this issue. Sneha. Right. Dev, I'm going to thank you for the moment. We'll of course keep coming back to you because that is one issue that isn't going to be dined on anytime soon. Thanking you, Dev, for the moment.